Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, I will be discussing with you on a very important indicator that most mm, traders use to analyze their trade and get a better result. This indicator is mostly used on lower time frame. For those of you who love trading with 30 minutes, one hour, this indicator will give you accurate entry and also gives you the most dynamic support and resistance level where you should set your take profit and stop loss. The name of this indicator is called pivot point. Before we continue on this live class, we need to go to a presentation slide where we will get to define what pivot point is all about. Join me, let's go. Okay. Welcome back to the slides. Here, yeah, we are going to be discussing on pivot point. You know, we have talked, discussed on so many um, indicators that help us to filter the chart and get the right entry points. So pivot point is one of the um, indicators that many professional traders uses to navigate the forest market and get out their entry point, stop loss and take profit. So by now, I believe you have heard it. And now I want to define pivot point. A pivot point and its support and resistance level are areas of which the direction of price move, movement can possibly change. Pivot point is a level of support or resistance where price usually struggle to break and then um, also continue. Now, PP, which is the central point, PP means central point, stand for pivot point. S stand for support, R stand for resistance. The simplest way to use pivot point level is to use them just like your regular support and resistance level. Don't forget, pivot point is mostly used on a lower time frame. This line that you are seeing, all this line, this one is the central point. This one is the main level, okay? We are price demarcate between the buyers and seller. If the price is above PP, it means that the, mark, the market is buying, and this one that you see here, arrow means resistant, the first resistant. So if you are to buy at this level at PP, you are expected to take profit at R1, R2, or R3. Okay. If you are buying at R1, you are expected to take profit at um, R2. Below PP, which is this particular grand line, should be your stop loss. Why R1, R2 should be your take profit? Similar thing with um, selling side. If the price is below um, 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 PP, that means S1 should be your take profit. And if you are not going to use S1 as your take profit, you can use it as your entry point, but your above the R, above the pp should be your which is pivot point level should be your what take your stop loss and you should use s2 s3 s1 as your target take the profit now why this line are being placed is because they are dynamic support and resistance level like i said earlier dynamic means some support and resistance that are very close the most recent support and they are not historical support and resistance. So we are going to use this dynamic support and resistance 
to trade as our take profit and our stop loss, okay? So as time goes on, you will get to understand what pivot point is all about and how you can use it to analyze the forest market in your own favor. Using pivot point for range trading will work, but not all the time. In those times that this level fail to hold, you should have some tools ready to take advantage of. So apart from using pivot point, you should have other tools that will help you to see clearer why where your take profit or your stop loss should be. Okay, right now we are going to be go going to our chat and I will show you how to install pivot point in your system. Remember, using your pivot point, I have to delete this one so that I will show you how to get it. You know, some people don't have pivot point on their system. Like me, I am using FXTM. So if I am going to use pivot point, I should go to FXTM and download the pivot point. Sometimes there are other places you can download pivot point, okay? You can download it in your Play Store, depending on the kind of um, Play Store you are using. But me, I already have pivot points on my system. I use FXTM. I went to my FXTM back office. I went to indicator and I got the pivot point. So the pivot point I'm going to be using is the one I have already installed on my system. And I will explain how this pivot point works. Remember, you can use pivot points mostly on 30 minutes time frame. Don't touch the parameter of the pivot point. Allow everything to be the same. So now, on this note, I'm going to be zooming in so that I will explain better. This one is called PP. This is the main pivot point. It tells you that if market price cross below this PP, this particular line, pivot point, it simply means that the market is in a selling direction, okay? Now, no matter what market does, if the market is selling, it will never cross this level. Even if it managed cross this level, resistance one will resist it and it will push it down. So currently, my price is at, um, at the selling level. If you look clearly, you will see that this PP point means a very strong level. If price, if this PP pivot point level, this particular center line, simply means that if price is below this center line, this place that my arrow is, it means that the market is in a selling direction. So for you to attempt to sell, price must come below resistance, support one, okay? And if price is going to be in support one, you should set your entry point below support one and then set your stop loss above resistance. This pivot point, maybe you can set your stop loss here. So if market eventually picked you, no problem. Some people can see earlier, they can even enter early here. Some people prefer using below the support, below this pivot line, they will use it, maybe they will use this particular number price as their entry point and then come again, they can then can like 20 or 10 people, five pips and come and use it as their stop loss. So if price pick them, yeah, it will keep taking them down. So they use people uh, support, which is support one. This support one means the most significant place where price will eventually struggle. If price break here, that means price will struggle here. And if price break here, it will go to support two, okay? That is how it keep going. So until the market reverse and start going up. So when you see support and R1, R2, it simply means the most significant level where price struggle to break or struggle to, to break or, can, or where price might have a U-turn and start returning back to uh, the other side. So when you see a pivot point, so like those of us who are using pivot point, we use pivot point in 30 minutes time frame. Every morning I wake up, I do my analysis with pivot point. This is how I do my analysis. Maybe if I wake up, if price is below 
um, pivot pivot point, which is this central line that demarcate the S and R. So what I will do is that I will come below this S and set my entry point and come above this S, above this pivot point and set my stop loss. Then I'll be targeting the distance between, and I can target, okay, if I'm going to enter here, that means S, um, that means S3, this is this place, this particular one will be my take profit. Since here is my below, here is my entry point, I will use here as my stop loss. Because first thing I need to know where the market is. And if the price is below this central point, which is this pivot point, it means the market is in a selling direction. Then I will look for a valid place to enter. So I can use this particular support one as my entry point and use support two support three as my take profit okay that is for the day and i have made by the time price price might come here but by the time i do if you do much back testing you find out that price will surely hit support two okay but it might not hit support three it, it's rare to hit support three but there is 100 percent chance that price will hit support two i can use support two as my entry point and use the above um, 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 pivot point as my take prof, um, my stop loss and i can use this one as my entry point so it depends on a similar thing with um, buying. If I wake up in the morning, I find out that the price is above um, pivot point. I can use here yeah, this particular one as my take prof entry point. I can use support three as my take profit. So this is how pivot point. Most people that trade daily time frame uses it to enter their trade. I hope I have nailed this trade, this and not this um, particular um, topic on pivot point. So if you have any question, you can call us, you can chat us on our YouTube page or on um, our uh, website. If you have any question, you can also chat me on Telegram on this particular topic. Don't forget, there are different types of pivot points but we recommend you to use this particular one if you need this particular pivot point sign up with fxtm so that you can be able to get access to this pivot point many people use this pivot points to do analysis and enter their trade don't forget whenever you are placing your trade always make sure you apply good risk management my name is still man could you see the admin of cj forest do not forget to enroll into our online academy where you will become a satisfied trader and know what you are doing. We are entering new year. I hope you make the right decision. Thank you once again and have a blessed day. Till next class.